a wild New Zealand boy, George Wilder is his name. He robs the rich to help himself, conversion is his game. He breaks and enters any house, to him this brings great joy. And that is how he got his name, the wild New Zealand boy. After many scrapes with Johnny Law, young George was sent to serve. And on his way to jail by rail, he showed courageous nerve. It seemed his one ambition was policemen to annoy. And from the speeding train, he leapt the wild New Zealand boy. The Johns, they hounded him, so tired he came a cropper. They caught him in an old wash house, he didn't see the copper. They took him back to jail once more, his ego to destroy. So back to breaking rocks he went, the wild New Zealand. Just six or seven months went by, he was a restless man. With Matty Chan, two Maori blokes went missing from the camp. And George, who never missed a trick, used Matty Chan's decoy. They captured everyone. Except the wild New Zealand boy. We interrupt this program to bring you an urgent request from the police department. You better come home, Mr. George Wilder, to your mummy jail. You can stay away forever. And need a letter on the wall Ooh, Mr. George Wilder Why don't you come home? Mr. George Wilder Please don't leave us all alone Hey, senor, this George He makes the police wilder and wilder I think It took six months to capture him, this master of escape. In a bushman's hut, he was surprised. Overconfidence was obviously his mistake. <laughs> when asked if he had much to say to this, how George replied, All I have me want to rule all air, beat the starry skies above. Don't fail me in. <clears throat> so back to face the judge again, the wild New Zealand boy. To all you folks who admire this man, there's one thing I must say. For every day he was at large, the bill we had to pay. Don't kid yourselves, laughs on us, George Wilder isn't coy. And he may always be that way, 